All right, earlier today we had some hot saucers leaks. So tomorrow we're gonna have a little bit of a hot fix update. So of course it's not a downloadable update, but it's still a hot fix nonetheless. So there will be patch notes tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a video on it if there's a lot of changes, but we'll see. So the official Fortnite Twitter account posted this. They said here at Hot Saucers, our team of listeners canvas far and wide to ensure nothing about the invasion gets past us. Yes, sir, you can trust that whatever IO's next gadget is, we won't miss it. Wait, did that fence just move? Hashtag Hot Saucers leaks. So obviously this is the quote in-game lore of patch notes. So what they're referring to is the prop gun, which accidentally got released early a few days ago. Some of the in-game NPCs, such as Abstract in Retail Row, accidentally could sell it and you could buy it and play around with it, but it's coming for sure tomorrow. So the weapon itself is called the Propifier. So first and foremost, shout out to Killer King Kevin for the gameplay of this prop gun. I actually DM'd him on Twitter and asked him if I could use this clip and he said, sure. So thanks very much, Kevin. I will link your channel in the description. So let's take a look at what the Propifier does. So let's just pause it right here real quick. Basically it has unlimited uses and there's five different categories you can pick from. In each of the five categories, there's three props that you can turn into. So for example, the first one is called Suburban Interior. And you can see that the first of three props you can turn into is a vase of flowers. So he then cycles through all five of the categories, which again are on the left. The next one is Suburban Exterior, then Urban, then Nature, then Seasonal, and then back to the beginning. So again, in each category, there's three different props that you can cycle between. So tons of options. Let's see, there's five categories and three in each. So at least 15 props that you can disguise yourself as. Now you can settle in place or deactivate the prop disguise. And of course, if you try to shoot, that's gonna undo you from the prop as well. So it's just as you would imagine, you can set in place and kind of become the disguise. And then when you undisguise, there's a five second cooldown. So basically unlimited uses, but most of the props are pretty big. So it's gonna be pretty easy to spot them if you know what they all look like. So here's the bush, you can tell that there's no bush that has purple flowers in it. So like I said, if you learn all the props and you know the little tips and tricks on what they look like, you'll know who's a prop and who's not. So will this be useful? I think so. I think it could be handy in some situations, but again, once people start learning what all the props look like, it's gonna be pretty useless. Still, it should be loads of fun because not everyone's gonna learn all 15 props and you still may get caught off guard. But from what I've seen, all the props are completely different from what we have in game. One of them's even a gnome, but it's just so big. Or the flower vase, it just turns you so gigantic that anyone will recognize, hey, that's not normal, it's too big. None of them seem to be replicas of anything in the game. Maybe the toilet, the toilet and the fridge, those are about it. I think those will probably be the best, but I do like that there's such a great variety. So there you go. That's what we can expect tomorrow. I'm sure there's gonna be other changes too, but the highlight is the new prop gun coming to Fortnite season seven. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.